Welcome back to Mediclass. Occlusal aspect of permanent mandibular first molar. Let's see what are the basic characteristics. Mandibular first molar is normally the largest tooth in the mandibular arch. Let's see what are the cusps. It has four major cusps and one minor cusp. The four major cusps are two buccal and two lingual cusps. This is mesiobuccal cusp. This is distobuccal cusp, distolingual cusp, mesiolingual cusp, and distal cusp. Mandibular first molar has two roots, the mesial root and the distal root. The distal root has straight distal axis. The mesial root has mesial axis to the half of its length and then it curves distally. First evidence of calcification of mandibular first molar is at birth. Enamel completion is at 2.5 to 3 years. Eruption is at 6 to 7 years. And root completion is at 9 to 10 years. Let's see in detail about the occlusal aspect of mandibular first molar. The occlusal aspect is somewhat hexagonal with unequal sides, as you can see in this diagram. It has four well-developed functioning cusps and one minor cusp, the distal cusp. The four cusps are mesiobuccal, distobuccal, mesiolingual and distolingual. The mesiobuccal cusp is the largest cusp of all, followed by mesiolingual and distolingual that are of equal size. Let's see the landmarks. We have seen cusp, now let's see fossa, groove, ridge and pit. A depression or concavity on the occlusal surface of posterior teeth is called as fossa. A shallow linear depression on the surface of the tooth is called as groove. A linear elevation on the surface of the tooth is called as a ridge. A pinpoint depression located at the junction of the developmental grooves is known as a pit. Let's see the fossas. There is one major fossa, the central fossa and two minor fossas, mesial triangular fossa and distal triangular fossa. So the fossa present in the center is known as central fossa, this is the distal fossa and this is the mesial fossa. Grooves. This is the mesiobuccal developmental groove, the lingual developmental groove, the central developmental groove and the distal developmental groove. This is the buccal side and the lingual side. This is a mesial marginal ridge and the distal marginal ridge. There are three pits. The central pit, which is located at the deepest part of the central fossa. The mesial pit, which is located at the apex of the mesial triangular fossa. And the distal pit, which is located at the apex of the distal triangular fossa. To summarize, we learnt about the basic characteristics of mandibular first molar, the evidence of calcification, enamel completion, eruption and root completion. We learnt the occlusal aspect of the first mandibular permanent molar in detail. The occlusal aspect of the first mandibular molar is somewhat hexagonal. The first mandibular molar has four major cusps and one minor cusp. The landmarks on the occlusal surface of the mandibular first molar are groove, fossa, pit, ridge and cusps. You can find the link to the MCQs for this topic in the description of the video. Thank you for watching the video, we hope you liked it and if you do, Please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for updates regarding our new videos. See you in the next video. Till then, stay healthy and have an amazing week.